commercial little break right there, we had to show you guys some of the nominees. And a shout out to all the nominees that will be performing, not all of them, but some of them will be performing this Saturday at the Independent Music Awards. Who would win? I, I, I'm like, because I don't know who's going to win. I guess you're going to have to find out if you brought your tickets. If you didn't, then you're just going to have to find out like Monday when they, when they, or oh, no, not even, the same day when, they, when the winners start blasting on their Facebook, I won, I won, that's when you're going to find out. But anyway, straight from Philadelphia. Hey. Wow. The, um, what's it, the um, city of brotherly, city of, uh, brotherly love. <laughs> um, straight here with Mr. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm blessed. I'm excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, no. Thank you for coming. Because, you know, uh, I was shocked. Like, I was like, okay, she's from Philly, and she's coming all the way down here. I thought you were, you know, like, no, I want a, um, a Skype <laughs> interview. I'm not driving. You know, but you drove all the way over here just to be on here, and I am honored that you did that. Thanks so much. Um, but first of all, that voice. Wow. <laughs> that voice. When, I, when I, my PR and, um, told me you were coming, I'm like, who's this? Where you found them? And they find them everywhere. Um, well, shout out to your PR. <laughs> yeah, she, she does her job. She, she looks and Instagram and everywhere. Yeah. And when I heard you do some of the covers on YouTube, yeah. I was like, well, you almost made me forgot who really sung the song. <laughs> I thought it was you at first. I was like, wait, 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 wait. I'm talking about this was already sung. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's how good your voice is. Thank you like, so much. Like, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I mean, when, when I got the email inviting me to come out, my model for 2018 was basically to say yes. So yeah. yes to all the opportunities that come my way. I feel so many times it's so easy for us to block our blessings, right? right? You know, whether we're in our head or there's insecurities or you're just thinking of your day-to-day -day responsibilities. And um, I just decided I'm not going to do that anymore. So you guys reached out. I'm like, absolutely, I'll be there. So. Oh, wow. Great, great. <laughs> and I like how you think because some people were like, oh, I don't know. And then they wonder why they never absolutely made it anywhere. Yeah. And then plus, it is a blessing because sometimes you don't even know. Like, wait, what the heck? Yeah. Like, uh, so that was shocking that, like I said, that you came from Philly to yeah. Kenya, and I I'm applaud you for that. Thank you. Um, but when did you start singing? Uh, I entered the world singing, where some people start, you know, screaming. Yeah. I wasn't that. <laughs> you hit the high notes. Right? Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> No, um, I, I always knew that I wanted to sing. My parents didn't realize I could sing until I was about 10. Oh, wow. Yeah, we were in the back of the car. We actually had family coming down from Puerto Rico, so we're on our way to my grandmother's house. And Mariah Carey, Always Be My Baby, was playing. Oh, and my God. Yeah, yeah, and I, I loved Mariah growing up. So I'm listening to the song, I'm singing it, and I just remember my dad turns the radio down, and he's like, Tiffany, was that you singing? I'm like, yes, Poppy. And he's like, huh. And then he looks at my mom, and then he just puts the radio back up. And from there on, they had me singing for everyone. Yeah, I was just going to say that. In my mind, I was like, te jodiste. <laughs> <laughs> because in other words, in the Latin house, I don't know anybody else I'm talking about in the Latin house. When you have a talent, they'll be like, mira, mira, mira acá. <laughs> Dance for your tío. Go. Show him the... the oh. Yeah. I, I, basically, I can already know. Absolutely. Yes. Mira, está aquí. <laughs> Come and sing. He said it. That's exactly how it goes. And yeah, it's funny because when I first started singing, I couldn't look at people. So I was literally, this is the wall, and I'm, I'm like facing the wall, and my back was facing everyone else when I started singing. Oh, so mm -hmm. what made you break out of that? When I was 12, my mom put me in voice lessons at, um, it was a, a spot in Philly called American Music Latin Association, so AMLA, really. I was taking salsa lessons, piano lessons, and vocal, and then that pretty much just helped me get out my shell, and ah. yeah, so I've been performing around since I was 12. Oh, bad. Yeah. And what's your, because uh, I do speeches and stuff like that, what is your little trick to not see the the people in the stage to get nervous like you know what, what? Is your little trick? um I kind of just look straight to the back I won't really look at anyone I won't make eye contact because if it's someone I know I'll probably laugh with you you know uh, and then everyone else I, I I make it look like I'm looking at you but I'm 
look at beyond. Exactly. <laughs> okay, okay. And sometimes I have like a little pen in my, my pocket and I'm just playing with the pen. Yeah. Or, or I do that same thing. I look beyond yeah. the person. Yeah, absolutely. You know? <laughs> and then if I make a joke and I want to oh, smile, I look at somebody's funny shirt or something. <laughs> yeah, I realize that I, I just make a bunch of facial expressions when I'm on stage. When you're on stage. Yeah, especially if I'm, I'm talking, you know, and I'm trying to like create a vibe and everything like that. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just very animated. That, at least that's the feedback I get. So well, it's, it's a good thing though. <laughs> yeah. um, but your, like I said, your voice carries uh, a loud tune. Thank you. And it carries a, a memory tune. I, I can say, because it's like one of those uh, songs that never get off your head. Yeah. You got one of those voices that you. Be like, wow, I gotta listen again and again. I'm, that means so much. Uh, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you guys check out her uh, Instagram, I mean not the Instagram, go to the YouTube page. She has a couple of covers there as well. That's why it's says Instagram. Um, yeah, you and can... then you can see what I'm talking about. Maybe later on, because we didn't download it, um, maybe later on. Oh, matter of fact, go to our Facebook Instagram, right? On Instagram. On our Instagram, we have this thing up next, and she's singing. Uh, yeah, the little skipping of her voice, and you'll know what I mean. Um, but, uh, like, I, I always ask this question of singers. Have there ever been a point in your life where you were just like, I don't want to do this no more? Never. Never? Never. That's good. Don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep mm -hmm. on going. We need your voice out there. Yeah, that's we need your voice. That's the plan to make it happen. You know, my parents, you know how it is. Latino family, yeah. they want you to make sure you're going to school, you're getting a good job. And mm -hmm. so that's that's pretty much how it was. Luckily for me, my parents have always supported my passion, you know. Oh. So um, I've, I've, I've definitely been blessed. It's just a matter of making it happen. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's the goal. That's why I'm here. That's <laughs> if your mom and dad was here, who would they say that gave you the talent? Oh, they both would say they gave. Yeah. Because yeah. yes. she got it from me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> and don't ask either one of them to sing because you'll they regret it. Right? Oh, my. <laughs> I, I just, you know, it's just like when you were talking, it was just dawned in my head. Like yeah. I, could, I could imagine the father and the mother there yeah. and family there. Oh, wow, she can sing. The father come out. To say where she get it from. That's because, what you know, he does. They, spot, they half English, half Spanish when we're in the Puerto Rican <laughs> house. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's great that you continue your passion. Like, nothing made you stop. Yeah. Um, do you do, have you have songs of your own um, songs? Yeah, I'm actually working on my first EP. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to be released in a, this year, for sure. Uh, we're working out the specifics and the amount of songs that are going to be on there. But right now, it's pretty much the... The creative process, getting everything together, um, fixing up some of the writing, and and okay. gonna lay it all out and, and put it out there. What type of songs are gonna be? R and B or yeah. R and B? Mm -hmm. Yeah, little oh, okay. R and B, a little soul. I, I say, you know, when everyone asks, what's my style, or you know, the way I sound, I guess. Yeah. Uh, pretty much tell them if Lauren Hill and Pink had a musical baby, it would be me with the Latin twist. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, okay. Well. This is great. Hey, this is, that is great. You know, because the 2019 um, Independent Music Awards are coming, so hopefully you can get it in, in there in time for your votes. But I'm going to tell you guys, if y'all putting in your songs, just put it in. But make sure they're good, because if she comes out the way she's been singing, <laughs> she's going to give you a run for your money. And, <laughs> and the votes are going to be shooting up on there once they hear her. And I'm just letting you know. Um, you for clap. You for because uh, so many independent artists out there in the world today, and we found one out of, the, out of a dozen in Philadelphia. Like, yeah. wow. Yeah. I'm still shocked, like, when she said she's coming from Philadelphia, I'm like, okay, she's driving here. Yeah. And I, if she has a voice like that, I was like, hmm. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Heard her all around the world. And I, I, matter of fact, with everything that was going on in, in Philadelphia and all that for many years, I, I think I can say your voice made it say the city of brotherly love. You know, oh, because thank you so much. It, it calms people down. And I think if a lot of people, and I say it, because of the chaotic things that are going on in the world. Mm -hmm. If you stop, breathe, and listen to a song, the world will be much, much better. I would say there's three things that will make you feel comfortable. A good movie, comedy, and music. Ah, beautiful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Absolutely. You Absolutely. can't go wrong, because no matter how mad you are, mira, maldito, say, hey, espérate, espérate, what? You put the right you song, music, you know, exactly. You start dancing, like, you forgot about everything. Yeah. Wasn't you mad? Oh. 
I don't know, but after the song, after the song, you know what I'm saying? It's like, and even with a good movie, you can just sit there and watch a good movie all day yeah. um, and forget about the world. Yeah. So we need more singers like you. Thank um, you. Because I you. love music. I just love to sit there and be like, especially if it takes me somewhere. Yes. It takes me yeah. somewhere. That's but, the goal. If you feel something, then cool. My, I did my job. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, yeah. what, what drives you for your songs? Like, like, you say you're writing your songs and everything. What is motivating you on your writing of some of your songs? Right now, it's, it's real life experience. You know, whether it's, it's romantic, whether it's just relationships in general. You know, as a female, as a Latina, like, there, we have a voice. Um, and people are trying to shut us out. They're trying to shut us up. And oh you can't hap- that can't happen. You can't shut me up, you know? Hey, oh, she just told you that. I didn't have to say nothing. <laughs> okay. She didn't say anything. She told you right there. Yeah, no. Which is, so. which is good. I, I like that. Um, because I want more Latinos and Latinas to call singing. Um, maybe singing songs about our lives, you know, yeah. in a nice sense of ways. Absolutely. Uh, like I was told, like, the uh, reggaeton singers and stuff like that. Or the, the Latin hip hop. Yeah. Make something about us, like, you know, the chancleta flying or something. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. But about our lives. Yeah. It, it would be so um, um, cool. Yeah. And I think, like, you were singing R&B, so there had to be some love songs in there. Yeah, yeah. I have a couple of them in there. One of my songs is called Stand. Um, and that basically is just talking about stand your ground, you know, regardless of, of whatever you're going through, regardless of, you know, how the outside makes you feel at the end of the day, you have to know that you're worthy. So stand, ooh, you know, I can't really, I can't <laughs> wait. Uh, ooh. Can we, can we like hack the, 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 the system over there and get, <laughs> well, get a downgrade? Oh. The little, um, <laughs> the, the hook for it, uh, stand your ground, don't give up on it now. If it's your fight, keep hope alive. It's gonna be alright. Woo! I told you. I told you. you know? But uh, uh, you guys, keep up your comments. We're gonna try to get to your comments now. So if you like her voice just now, hey, let us know. Um, and check out uh, when we go to commercial break because we're gonna go to commercial break soon. But we're gonna come right back with her. So during that one minute, check her out uh, on Instagram real quick. Miss Tiffany Janelle. Yes. And then uh, on Facebook, it's I am. Tiffany Janelle. Yes. Because yeah. that's the one I went to the first. Uh-huh. <laughs> so check them out um, real good. But I like that. Like, you have that stand. You any broken heart um, songs? Oh, yeah. Maybe yeah. making music there, too? Uh, not, maybe. Possibly. You have to get the oh. EP. You'll have to get the EP to, to figure it out. I'm trying to get it out there. I'm trying to help you guys, you know. <laughs> trying to get some, some good uh, things. Okay, so we already know. On this stand, there is a heartbroken one in there. Uh-huh. Maybe making music we don't know yet. Yeah, we'll try to find out. We'll try to find out. <laughs> There'll be some spoken word on there, too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That is good. That's good. But we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to come back more with Miss Tiffany. So we're going to find out a little bit more about her life growing up in a Latin home. We'll be right back. He's got me. He's guilty of loving me. Hello and welcome back for you guys that just logged on and just um, started watching us. I'm here with Miss Tiffany. Hola. I, or the whole sentence is Tiffany Janelle. So in case <laughs> you want to know her whole sen- uh, name. But um, she is from the city of brotherly love. So, And for y'all people, it is Philadelphia. Shout out to Philly. And that's the city, not the state. <laughs> the state is Pennsylvania. <laughs> I got to always explain to people that. They be okay. like, oh, what state are you going to? I said, oh, Pennsylvania. Oh, that's next to Philly. <laughs> no, Philly's not a state. That is. <laughs> but anyway, you know, you're here. You're Latin, like you said. And, uh, and we'll try to power two things, Latin and female. So Absolutely. I'm glad I got both of them here at the same time. Girl power. <laughs> um, so it's great that you did it. Uh, my co-host, Wishes probably she was here, but she went somewhere and now she's stuck in traffic. Aww. We don't know if she's going to get here in time. But um, talking about growing up in a Latin um, thing, and especially in Philadelphia, mm-hmm. it's, it's not so much Latin in the olden days. Now it's like a lot of Latin people are going there. Mm-hmm. How, how was it growing up and trying to sing at the same time? Like, You know, 
I've always been the type of person, I, I've always been passionate. So it's never been a case of whether someone's going to stop me from singing or, you know, if they're like, I'll tell you one thing. When I, I went to the Creative and Performing Arts High School of, for Philadelphia, Kappa, and um, originally when I was going to audition, I was going to audition for the vocal department. And um, I was actually told by someone that I wouldn't get in because I wasn't white and I didn't sing opera. They said, oh, you're, you're, like, you're just Spanish and you sound, you know, really urban when you sing. They're not going to get you. You have to be white and sing opera. So, you know, as a seventh grader, I, I was a little distraught by that. But I'm like, no, I'm still going to audition. Like, I know I'm talented. I'm going to do this. And um, I was a theater major, a dance minor, and I ended up singing in all of the shows. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, it, was, it wow. was great. And, I mean, I actually had a teacher that did tell me one time that I couldn't sing. I auditioned to play like the drums, all of the instruments. I tried to what, sing what to get in choir. That? that stupid teacher on blast. What teacher is that? You know what? I actually did that. Um, after I graduated, I went no back loss. to the school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I told them. I'm like, I remember when you told me I couldn't sing. And right. there was another teacher there with me. And she's like, you better sing to him now. Wow. So I sang and he was just like, <gasps> he had a loss of a lost words. You know, you know, I think. And some teachers, I without them knowing, yeah. they push you. Uh -huh. Because I remember my teacher told me I could never play trumpet. Hmm. So I said, oh, okay. I wind up playing trumpet. Yeah. I got into the uh, music of arts, but I never went. I was like, eh, <laughs> I didn't want it. Because I guess because my friends wasn't going. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know, back in the 80s and 90s, you want to go where your friends go. Well, I think it's still the same. Yeah, but, I think it's um, so. <laughs> music in um, the arts was one of the greatest schools, but I didn't go to, which I'm glad I didn't because it would have changed me different. Yeah. Maybe that's not what I was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But I proved them wrong. Yeah. You know, and that's a good thing. But you're lost because now she's here on the LBM show and she's going to be blowing <laughs> up. Sooner or later, she's going to win an independent music award. So uh. she's going to be doing so much. <laughs> I, I, I see the future. I'm seeing. I'm I like, like that Chloe. future. I'm like Chloe. <laughs> Call me now. <laughs> no, but I, with your voice, and I can just imagine the songs coming out. I don't see how you're not, when your phones are not going to be ringing, oh. how you're not going to be uh, winning an award one day. Yeah. So it's, it's going to happen. Yeah, thank it's you. It's going to happen. And, you know, then that's when your dad's like, he got, she got it from me. That's why, we, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So she'll come back. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know? But um, what was your, one of your most memorable times when you sung, even to a family or somewhere else? Uh, it was actually for this, this event two Augusts ago. Did I say that right? Yeah. Anyway, it was like About two summers years. ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, it was the very first time I sang an original song live. Um, and it was for this uh, a woman empowerment event. And, um, you know, there, there were a bunch of women, women with children. To me, the, the part that stood out the most was after my song. Uh, well, during my song, they were, you know, just like, two-stepping it and just you know vibing with this so i was like yes yes like um and then afterward uh there were two kids they literally ran up to me and they wanted to give me a hug they're like can we give you a hug you sing so good and i was like of course give me a hug oh my god <laughs> little things like that you would never forget absolutely um, and when you were telling the story i can see like your memory was like wow like, yeah, you know yeah. which is good and you're speaking to just of a uh, empower a woman event yeah. we have what's called nothing but women power for this is the fourth year wow. coming up in August 18. Wow. So you're always welcome okay. to come on. It's a free concert that we give to the um to the community. Okay. It's all done by females, you know. Yes. Um, we have last year we had a comedian, female, uh some singers, uh a poet, right? We had a poet last nice. year. Nice. So we try to like mix it up where we're going to show difference in females, not just singers. You know, there's different uh, females yeah, yeah. that come up. So you're always welcome. If you want to come, you let her know. She puts you on the list. Thank you. Put you on the flyer. <laughs> and we great. But again, ladies and gentlemen, that's nothing but woman power for. So that's the fourth year we're doing it at the Willis Community Gardens. It's a free event. Come um, find out stuff. There's going to be uh, tables there. There's going to be food. Uh, and there's going to be a bunch of women showing their empowerment. So I, I'm trying to push more of the Latinas to come out. I'm sorry it comes out prejudice for people because <laughs> some of these people are sensitive. But I am um, part of a Latino heritage, so I need to empower my um, people as well. So you're always welcome. Thank you. That. And believe me, you will knock the house down. So each, you know what's funny? Each year we have one person like that, right? 
that killed the whole thing. Wow. And that's awesome. And they were like, wow. The, um, we had, last year was the Japanese princess, right? We had a Japanese uh, lady come from Japan. Okay. Called y- Yokino. Yokino. And now she's not called Yokino anymore. She's called the Japanese princess. Okay. Given by the kids of the park. Aww. Because she sung a Walt Disney song. Okay. And it made it her own. And she Shout sounded like her. one of those Walt Disney characters. So. Shout out to her. <laughs> yeah. And then the other year was Alex. Uh, she blew it out. So each year, and then maybe this year it'll be Tiffany. So we never know. So each year that everybody, and, but they always love the Empower of Women. Y'all guys are powerful. Of course. Uh, Absolutely. That's our, you know, we got to let everyone else know. If you don't know. Now you know. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, to be on the dark side, some of your females knock everything down that the females have been building up since the 40s to empower women. The same thing with race, you know? Like how many stuff that we empower to get our Latin side up, people are knocking it down. But I, I'm hoping that you just keep pushing and pushing, man. Because we want to hear that voice. I, I want to hear that song. And uh, guys, if you want to hear her a little bit more, comment below and maybe she'll be encouraged to do a little song for you guys. But you got to comment and let her know. Because if not, <laughs> she ain't going to do it. I'm just, I'm just going to let you know. So when the PR says someone said yes, thumbs up, fire, whatever, the little emojis that you guys be putting, <laughs> let us know. But um, what is your favorite song or your favorite person song to sing? Uh, that I, I think that I ha- always hate that question because I feel guilty. I'm like, I have to pick one. Um, my, one of my favorite songs. All right, so let's do top five then. Let's do top, top five. five. Okay. That way you won't feel too guilty. Absolutely. You just got like 25 off the list. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say India Ari, Get It Together. Okay. I just love the, the message, the lyrics. Her voice is beautiful. I just, India Ari, Get It Together. Um, La India, I just want to hang around. Oh, okay. Yes, Mark Anthony, um, Nadia como ella. Mm. Um, uy, hubo alguien. Oh, I love Mark Anthony. <laughs> We're going to sing together one day. Watch. <laughs> hey, you're, you're watching. You never know. Um, Check it out. Pink. Um, uh, who knew? Yes. I love her. The PR is our favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then a fifth one. That would be, that'll be Lauren Hill, um, Miss Education. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, Lauren Hill, you need to come back. I- I'm telling you because her songs were, were like. Very influential. Yeah. Yes. It was crazy when mm. her voice, mm. her and uh, Pink. Yeah. I, 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 female artists, I can say my, my top five female singers, of course, is Lauren Hill. Um, is up there. Uh, Whitney ah. will be up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, my girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez. I have to, <laughs> even though we're in the rocky situations right oh. now. But <laughs> <laughs> I love Jada. <laughs> um, I, I like her just because she has that I don't care attitude. You can keep talking about me and I'm going to yeah. do what I got to do. She's definitely doing her um, thing. Uh, Patty LaBelle. Mm, Philly. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's I, that's my top. I can say Patty nice. LaBelle. She's um, the top there. And just because of her life, I'll say Tina Turner. Just mm. because of what she went through, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And her voice. But those are the ones that, as female um, singers from the past to now, who, mm. you know, I, I like to hear. What's love got yes. to do, got to do with it? Uh, what's love but a second-hand emotion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I love it I mean, because <laughs> that song, especially that song, is definitely what she went through. Like, mm-hmm. She's like, ain't love got nothing to do with this no more. Mm-hmm. I'm done. I'm gone, you know? Mm-hmm. And at that time, nobody knew what she was really going through yeah. until uh, later on. Yeah. And she didn't show it. So Yeah, her you know. story, of course, you know, of course. Um, but just her tone. Every time she sings, she... Like, you feel it. You know she means it. She can sing the ABCs, and you're like, yes. <laughs> Which is so true. Yeah. And, and she had the most gorgeous legs, I can tell you. <laughs> you know? She, when, she, when she sang that song in the video, and she had the little uh, lace thing, uh-huh. the music video, she had some gorgeous legs for her age. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. You know, she is good. So, 
uh, an empowerment woman. Did anybody say anything yet? What they said? Oh, she hit refresh. She's, she's, she's over there posting up pictures, <laughs> you know, on Instagram well, and everything now. So. Well, shout out to everyone listening, tuning yes, in. Yes, yes. You know, and again, <laughs> uh, again, if you are watching pre-recorded um, after, you are watching on BronxNet or something like that, go online, look for her, Tiffany. Uh, I am Tiffany, right? On, on Facebook, Facebook, it's uh, I am Tiffany Janelle. Instagram, it's Miss Tiffany Janelle. Right. YouTube, Tiffany Janelle, everywhere it's, it's Tiffany Janelle. You type it in, and I'm gonna pop up. <laughs> yeah, it, it should be on the bottom of the of the screen as well, Tiffany Janelle. So if you're watching it pre-recorded, meaning that we're not live anymore, go to one of her pages and tell her, listen, I just seen you and heard you on the LDM show and love Absolutely, absolutely. Just comment. Say I want something. to hear from you. <laughs> yeah, because I, I think as independent artists, I would love to hear absolutely um, what's going on. Mm -hmm. Same way we reached out to her, you guys can reach out. Um, and say something nice and watch for that song. Um, so more or less like the ending of the summer or the middle of the winter, when is these songs going to come It's going to be around the holidays. Ooh, mm -hmm. a nice mm -hmm. stocking gift. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> so back to the question, is there any baby making music on that? <laughs> You're going to have to wait. I, I tried. See how I threw that in there? I threw that in there. I tried he to... gave it a shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> hey, uh, Stocking Gifts is coming out soon. So, you know, get ready to get these uh, LPs and um, support. Are they going to be on Spotify and downloads and all that? That's the goal. Um, Amazon? That's the goal. There you go. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I would say it's great that um, we can hear their songs on the radio and stuff. But sometimes it's always good to download it and pay that little $5 or whatever they're asking for um, for their songs because... It helps them support them. So, you know, just do that. We support them by putting them on the radio and let them go out there as much as possible. So as soon as your song comes, let us know. Absolutely. Play that on the radio. Music yeah. video, we played on VidZone. Oh, awesome. So get your <laughs> name out there as much as possible. For you're sure. never going to forget Tiffany Janelle. So um, <laughs> one song you request. <laughs> oh, she's like, I want, she didn't, she didn't even look, we, we asked the PR one song, what's the, um, the song, she was like, she didn't even look to see the comments, she was like, I just want to hear one song, I don't even care what they say. I, I, <laughs> I saw that you guys reposted one of my videos, I can sing that song if you like. Woo. In Vogue. Yeah. Oh, you want to sing that one, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Running in and out my life has got me so confused. Gonna make a sacrifice Somebody's gonna choose We can make it if we try For the sake of you and I Together we can make it right What's it gonna be? I can't pretend, no What's it gonna be? More than friends Hold me tight and don't go don't let go you got the right to lose control don't let go thank you oh ladies and gentlemen <laughs> Tiffany Janelle don't forget that name <laughs> and, and you guys just heard that song that's her new single no <laughs> <laughs> I wish that was my song. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made it your own, so oh, I'm like, you. okay, that must be her song. <laughs> thank you. Know? you. But again, um, I am Tiffany Janelle on Facebook. Yes. And on Instagram is Miss Tiffany Janelle, so yes. check her out. And on YouTube, Miss Tiffany Janelle. We have her on our page as well, so just click on her name. It's highlighted. And follow. Just don't look at the page. Click on Hit that, that follow, follow button. button. Yes. Hit that follow and that like button, right? And subscribe to her YouTube. Yes. Subscribe to her YouTube page because mm -hmm. we need all the subscribers on YouTube now to yeah. become partners. So. And I'm working on, you know, all the original music to put out there, but I, I'm still taking requests for covers, so let me know. Wow, wow, wow. That's good. I, I'm going to look for a couple of them. Uh, <laughs> let, let me see. How far back you will go? Uh, it depends. 70s, 80s, mm. 90s? Honestly, I can do whatever. Just now, let who, me know the who song. Who do you like from the 80s or the 90s? 
Oh, so much pressure. I so much pressure. pressure. She came driving over here thinking she was gonna be easy. <laughs> Listen, I, just no, no, give no. me a song, give me an artist. Yeah. What's what's um one of your favorite songs? From the nineties? Uh-huh. Wow. I, so many. Now you, she put the pressure back. Why, why did I do it? She put the pressure back. Um, let me see. Uh, like I said, I, I'm a Patty LaBelle person. Um, what else? Matter of fact, you were talking about ABCs, right? Uh-huh. Sing the ABCs in your way. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah. yeah. A nursery rhyme in your voice. Mm. Mary go. had a little Throw that palm in there, boy. She just <laughs> blew it up in here. Woo! That was incredible. Hey, she can't even put a kid to sleep because they be all happy. <laughs> Another one. Otra ma. Otra ma. <laughs> then the dad comes out. She got it from me. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for coming. Um, like I said, the doors are always open, and we always say once you enter the LDM, you become family. So uh. always reach out, and anything we can do to help. Get the word out there, the songs out there. We would do as much as possible. For sure. Um, again, guys, Tiffany Janelle, follow her, like, and subscribe to her pages all at once. Go click, click, click. Okay. Just keep on going um, <laughs> because you don't. You want to be there when she throws this LP out there. You want to be the first ones to like. Oh my God, she threw it out. So make sure and definitely when you throw it out. Let us know. I will. We're going to bring you right back in okay. and maybe give the whole stage to you to sing one of your songs uh -huh. or two, whichever one you want to do. For sure. Let so. me know. Thanks again for having me. Oh, no, no Thank problem. You. Again, ladies and gentlemen, Tiffany Janelle, you just heard her singing. So if she can sing like that, her songs are going to be great. <laughs> this is the LDM show, bringing you the best of the independent artists. We'll be right back. And your girl, Emma Garcia. And you can watch us at the LDMshow.com. YouTube. Facebook. And Instagram. And everywhere else. And, and women are better. No, see, you just jumped in. <laughs> learn how the men are better at this in the LDM Show. No, women are better than the LDM Show. Yeah, just watch us. LDMshow.com every Thursday from 6, 6 to 8. 8. And then also listen to us on the LDM Show. Got me. He's good.